All right, guys, so a few days ago, I did a video on the coat Goku that we see right here from the, you know, newly released Broly movie, and in it, I talked kind of extensively about how the movie hero category is, you know, I don't really want to say a disappointment, but it's kind of bare bones as to what we could eventually have, and I feel like some people sort of didn't get what I meant, so I wanted to make a video kind of talking about the movie hero category in whole, uh, and also talk about what it's going to be uh, very, very soon. So here we have the movie hero category, right, which was just added into the game along with Coat Goku and Coat Vegeta, right? Now, I think very, very clearly, uh, we will get probably a blue Gogeta with this leader skill, the movie hero leader skill. Now, it remains to be seen, is Blue Gogeta only going to be the movie hero's leader? Uh, is he going to be a dual category leader? How exactly is this going to work? As of right now, we don't know, obviously, because the banners have not dropped. But I think it's a very safe bet that Blue Gogeta will either be the movie hero category leader or have it as part of a dual category leader skill. Among Blue Gogeta, you know, we probably, we could get a form, you know, Super Saiyan Goku, uh, God Goku, we could get a Blue Goku, you know, Vegeta, we could get a Super Saiyan Vegeta, God Vegeta, we could get a Blue uh, Vegeta, we could get, you know, Base Gogeta, Super Saiyan Gogeta, Blue Gogeta, like there's so many, Goku and Vegeta take so many forms and, you know, during this movie that there's a lot of new characters they could add that could buff in this category up because, Right now, like, I know, you know, people l probably look at it, they see LR Gogeta, uh, you know, you see Int Gogeta, and then, like, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and you're like, oh, they're ridiculous, but it's like, it's solid, but it could definitely use a bit more, right? Like, I do like LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku on the team, but really... You know, is there a good support unit for LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku? Uh, not really. I mean, you do have the Gohan from the first Dragon Ball Z uh, Broly movie, where, you know, he'll be able to give some key and a uh, nice little attack buff, uh, but he doesn't have Shadowing the Limit or anything for LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I mean, obviously, all the characters are going to be super class, so, you know, that, that Gohan could be solid. But there's just a lot of stuff that they could really add, which is going to buff this up quite a bit. And there's a lot of characters uh, from, you know, previous Dragon Ball movies that have not yet been added into Dokkan that I think they could add that would be significant buffs for this category. So when I say that, look at this Super Saiyan Vegeta right here. And let's look at this Piccolo right here. These guys just came out with not the last Dokkan Fest on JP, which was Int Goku Black, but the one before that was AGL Metal Cooler. Uh, and, you know, he came with this Vegeta and this Piccolo, both characters directly from the second Cooler movie, where, you know, they are, you know, Piccolo defeats a lot of the robots, and Vegeta helps Goku defeat uh, Cooler. Now... This is the type of thing they usually haven't done, and this could explain to me why they decided to do that sort of AGL Metal Cooler Dokkan Fest. I think we could see them uh, sort of do Dokkan Fest or story events on a lot of the movies that have taken place, and they haven't really given us sort of uh, some iconic characters from these movies and sort of buff the category over time and possibly, you know, making new categories and stuff like that, because... Again, as of right now, you know, there are some really good units here. You know, you got SCR God Goku is a solid unit. Uh, you know, the Family Kamehameha units after their EZA are quite good. Uh, you know, Tech Angel Goku is still a powerful unit. Tech Tapion is always helpful with his orb changing. Uh, you have AGL Tapion for a bit of defense. Uh, but like, you know, the Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta units uh, from the Resurrection F film, they're not really the craziest, right? Like, I probably will think about rainbowing that blue Goku now. I never have now that this movie hero category is out with him. But, you know, I would wait to do that until after uh, the Broly movie stuff comes out to see, you know, what blue, like, Goku and Vegeta uh, cards will be coming from that. Now, if we move back, there's some big-time units I think they sort of missed out on that they could have added, such as Gotenks, right? So, Super Saiyan Gotenks fights... Uh, in the Fusion Reborn movie against Hitler and his armies, as crazy as that sounds, uh, Gotenks is able to defeat them 
with uh, the Super Ghost Kamikaze attack. So I feel as though these Super Saiyan Gotenks cards and the Super Saiyan Gotenks and Ghosts, both of those could have been in the movie category. Same thing with Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks because this art is literally Gotenks pointing at Harutagon in movie 13 and he's not in the movie heroes category. They easily could have put physical Gotenks into the movie heroes category, but for whatever reason, they decided not to do that. Uh, we also have this Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Uh, you know, this, again, is his art is literally from the second Broly movie when he's doing battle with, you know, legendary Super Saiyan Broly. Like, they could have put this guy into the category. He would have been very, very helpful with that 35% attack and defense, plus he would have Shattering the Limit along with LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So this guy would have been fantastic on the movie hero category, but they decided to leave him out. There is really no good explanation for some of these characters. They just left them out. Uh, then, of course, we have, you know, the big one. This, a lot of people are very, very upset about this. Uh, Super Saiyan 2, Vegeta, and Bulma just continue to get shafted with categories. You know, they can't be put into full power. They can't be put into pure Saiyans because of Bulma's presence. They didn't make movie heroes. And, like, you could say, oh, well, it makes sense because they're from the, you know, they're from the Dragon Ball Super portion, not the Battle of Gods from the movie. And it's like, yeah, that's fine. But the Beerus that came out with this Vegeta which was supposed to be from Dragon Ball Super, he made it into the movie bosses category. So uh, I do think they could have put him in the movie heroes category, and I think it would have been a very good place for him as well. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like this Vegeta and Bulma card, as amazing as they are, uh, they're just never going to get a category. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, only Like, maybe a berserk, like a, an enraged category, if they really do that with Broly. At that point, we could see uh, this card get a category. But right now, they just don't have one. Uh, Ultimate Gohan is another card that is kind of left out uh, in the Movie Heroes category. Because obviously, Ultimate Gohan uh, does do battle with Harutagarn. Uh, while we're on the topic of Gohan 2... Uh, don't forget, there is a Great Ape Kid Gohan. We, we never have actually gotten Great Ape Kid Gohan, which is very, very bizarre. Because that's, like, a big part of Gohan's character in, like, the Saiyan Saga and stuff. Like, how many times does Gohan go Great Ape in early Dragon Ball Z? It's a lot. Like, they really should give us a character of him. Uh, there is one, like, in the game's data that's used for the Saiyan Saga story event. But... I could see value of a, you know, Saiyan Saga or Movie Heroes uh, Great Ape Kid Gohan added. Uh, plus, also, we do have this Gohan right here. Uh, you guys might recognize this from the first uh, Dragon Ball Z film, the Garlic Jr. film, when Gohan actually defeats Garlic Jr. There are actually no characters from Movie 1 or 2 in Dokkan. I, well, I guess technically there is the controlled Piccolo, and then we also have Dr. Cochin, I believe his name is, uh, who appear in the quest mode. But, like, <laughs> that, you know, the quest mode, that was added, like, 17 months ago, 16 months ago, and they haven't done anything yet with that, which is just very, very bizarre to me. Uh, I, I would like to see that sort of, you know, the, some of these movie characters actually be added. Um, now, obviously, there is, you know, th we talk about movie one and two. Uh, movie three, this uh, Goku right here from the Tree of Might, uh, this is the one that defeats Turles, obviously, right here. Uh, then they could get a Goku, like this exact same Goku as one who beat, uh, you know, Dr. Willow in movie two, you know, they could give us another spirit bomb Goku like that. Uh, in movie four, we do have the Kaioken Goku that sort of beats Lord Slug, but obviously everyone wants to see, uh, the false Super Saiyan Goku, uh, from the Lord Slug movie. They could still add him. There's not really any heroes from Cooler's first movie. I think they could probably add a Super Saiyan Goku from that. Uh, obviously, the Metal Cooler movie stuff, a lot of those characters are indeed in Dokkan. So they kind of took care of that. Like, you know, we have the Super Saiyan Goku who defeats Cooler right here. And we've already looked at the Vegeta and Piccolo who defeat Cooler in that movie. Um, after that is the Super Android 13 movie where, again, there's pretty much no one... 
from the Super Android 13 movie, like here in the Movie Heroes category. Uh, we could get a Super Saiyan Vegeta. We could get a Super Saiyan Trunks. And then, of course, we could get this card right here. Uh, Goku absorbing the Spirit Bomb. That sort of final attack he does to finish off Super Android 13. I could see us getting a Super Android 13 Dokkan Fest and story event uh, sometime soon. Now, when I say sometime soon... I'm thinking like March, April, June, you know, sometime and then possibly we could. But like, I don't, that's not, none of, none of what I'm talking about here is kind of, uh, I think, hype enough to hit for the four-year anniversary. You know, and plus it's a four-year anniversary, it'll probably be some sort of Super Saiyan 4 theme. Kind of just what I'm, I'm thinking at the moment. But I do think eventually we could see an Android 13 movie, you know, a lot of stuff added to it. Because... There's, he, he, Android 13 has very little presence in Dokkan. Again, he, him and Android 14 and 15, they appear in the quest mode, but that's it. There's no Dokkan story event or anything like that. They will for sure add one probably soon, right? Uh, that's a good place for them to, you know, explore some movie characters they have not yet added. Then moving on to the movie after that, again, <laughs> it would be weird because kind of this same look of Goku beats Cooler in movie 5, he beats uh, Android 13 in movie 7, and then he beats uh, Broly here in movie 8. I guess technically you could say that exact same look, that's also the look of Goku as he beats Cooler, right? Goku, like basically Goku with his shirt completely destroyed in Super Saiyan 1 form. Oh wow, yeah, you really could say for what? One, two, three, four straight movies, that's the Goku that wins. But in the Android 13 movie and the Broly movie, like, he actually does have, like, almost a special, like, type of ability that he uses to finish them off. Like, we could even go over here to the Legends DBZ space. A lot of you guys might be familiar with him. A very good character in Dragon Ball Legends is this blue Broly movie Goku right here. Like, they could take him and put him in Dokkan. That would be very cool. Uh, they do have the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan from the BoJack movie in here, but he's just like a support type unit, right? Gohan was so overwhelming in that movie, I do feel as though they could possibly give us like a Dokkan Fest. Maybe like a Super Saiyan 1 Gohan that transforms in a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan uh, as a transformable Dokkan Fest card. Uh, and then he could be added to the movie hero category along with a lot of the other fighters, uh, especially Trunks. Like, Trunks has a very distinct look in that BoJack movie that they could add for the movie hero category. Uh, movie 10 is, what, uh, the second Broly film, I believe, where, again, you know, we would kind of just need, like, a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, but we do already have the family Kamehameha trio. Uh, movie 11 is the uh, Bio Broly movie. That is taken care of. We do have uh, this kid Trunks down here, and we got this kid Goten up here. Plus, we also have uh, the kid Trunks right there, and then we also have the kid Goten right there. And then even Android 18 from that Bio Broly movie is here. So the Bio Broly movie is covered. Uh, then Fusion Reborn. Again, we do have Gogeta, of course. Uh, I do think they should probably get some sort of Gotenks from that movie added in. Uh, and then maybe an Angel, Goku, and Vegeta, who mysteriously are not on this category. Uh, they easily could have taken that Angel, Vegeta, and put him on the category. Or even the Angel, Goku, could have hit on the category. You know, they're Super Saiyan 1 Angel forms. Uh, although, the Tech Super Saiyan 3 Goku is, you know, assuredly from his fight with Janemba, right? Uh, and then moving on to the last Dragon Ball Z movie, uh, we have uh, the Harutagon film, which... Again, you know, we got, like, the Super Saiyan 3 Gokus from there, uh, but we are missing, uh, you know, like, an Ultimate Gohan or a Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks uh, that they could add there. Uh, and then from Battle Gods, obviously, the My Bulma scene. Like, I, I don't know. I guess they're just not going to add that because there is, what, two? There's two? Maybe you could actually say there's three versions of that character in Dokkan because there's also the uh, Tech Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta who is supposed to be from the Battle of Gods arc, who's from that, you know, My Bulma scene, Assault on Beerus, and he's not in the category either, this guy right here. So, I, I don't know what they'll do with that. And then, obviously, uh, talking about the Resurrection F film, like, all those blue Gokus and Vegetas are on here, along with a lot of, like, low-level cards, like, you know, Officer Krillin, we got Tracksuit Gohan, all in, all in here, you know, Full Power Roshi, Tien. Uh, there is a pick... No! Okay, <clears throat> I think it's a rare Piccolo that has the Resurrection F-Link, who I guess they decided not to put into the category. That's a bit odd. 
Is it a rare Piccolo? Yeah, right here. Boom. So this guy doesn't become a movie hero for no reason. Okay. Well, that's a shaft for this Piccolo. But there we go, guys. There's just me sort of talking uh, about the movie hero category and everything it lacks. There is so much meat that they could add to this category. Strong, powerful characters. So many story events. So many of the early Dragon Ball Z movies don't really have much representation in Dokkan, less than you would think, right? So I do think we could see a lot of this stuff eventually added. So uh, let me know what you guys think of the movie hero category. Uh, how hyped are you for Blo Blue Gogeta, who for sure should be arriving, I would think, sometime within the next week. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see y'all next time.